Hi there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you for joining me today. Today's Stamping Up project features the Press On stamp set and the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper. And this is a simple little um, gift holder. It holds a Starbucks caramel latte sachet. You can put chocolate in there, you can put whatever you like in there. I thought it was about time I started making some uh, co-worker gifts coming up to the end of the, the year. Uh, so this was a nice simple little gift I can give to all of my coffee loving friends out there. Now this is, the stamps that I'm using is Press On and it's in the August to December mini catalogue and it's on page 68, there it is there. I have used it in videos before because I love the stamp set, because I love coffee. So hence, I love the stamp set. And I'm using the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper. Six by six uh, paper this one, and it has all fabulous different plaid designs. I absolutely love it. So this one here has got um, the cinnamon cider in it, but the one I'm going to use has more of the... Uh, cinnamon cider, some Cajun craze, and rich razzle berry. So I'm going to use a different piece for this one. So let me show you how I made it. So start with a piece of 6x6 paper, and all we're going to do is fold the sides together and then adhere the bottom. So this little bottom here is crimped a little bit, and then the, the top is left open. So decide which you, what side you want to be your inside and which side you want to be your outside. So this is going to be the outside and this will be the inside obviously. I want to, all we're going to be doing is folding it over like this, adhering our tape down here and then securing the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is on this side right here, so on the uh, looking at the camera, looking at it down, it's on the right hand side of the paper. I'm going to um, put some stamp and seal. You can use tear and tape, you could use liquid glue if you like, it just takes a little bit longer to dry. That's the only problem. And we're going to apply some tape through here as well. The, 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 it's probably better to use um, your uh, tear and tape because when I put this down, obviously the the adhesive is going to be hitting the bottom, so I'll just have to be careful I don't put that on my good paper. There we go. There we go. I was careful. Very careful. So I'm going to just bring that across here and cover up all of my... This will be the back of the, of the sachet. Bring that all together. Okay. Put it down and then squeeze the bottom in to make the bottom. There we go. And then you can come through here and just adhere that. So that's easy, really, really easy to make. Now for this one here, I don't know if you can see, I have actually put a little bit of crimping in the bottom there just for a little bit of extra um, fun, if you like. And I simply used my Simply Scored scoring tool and I put it on my scoring board and I just went like this at the bottom. I just did a few little, um, a few little ones just in here. You don't have to do this bit. I'm just turning it over to do it again. It just gives it that little, you know, just adds a bit of interest to the to the can to the little sachet holder. So that's that there. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to punch out the the background. And I'm going to use the Label Me Lovely Punch and I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry because that colour is contained in here. I'm going to punch out one. There it is. Now I've already gone ahead and stamped coffee is always a good idea and hello it really is. I've gone ahead and stamped it and I've cut it out and I've used um, one of the, the smallest oval shaped die from the stitched shaped dies. Um, I did that, did that ahead of time. It's, it's a tight fit, but it does fit, and I actually think it looks really quite cute in that shape. So we'll cut that out. The next thing we're going to do is stamp our coffee image. So we're using this one right here, and we're going to uh, cut it out as well. So you'll just need a piece of um, Whisper White cardstock and your Memento ink. Uh, 
center I'm going to just stamp that on there it is perfectly stamped and then um, I've done a little bit of coloring I've used just jade in here but I think for this one I'm going to use the cinnamon cider so I'm just going to use my Stampin' Blends just to do a little trim across the top here I'm using, coming in with my what have I got here I've got the light cinnamon cider yes light cinnamon cider and then I'm just going to come in with the dark just for a little bit of interest You don't have to do it if you don't want to. You don't have to colour. You can leave it plain. And I'll just do the little red as well, I think. Now, this little piece here is cut out from another piece of um, the Designer Series paper. You can leave it blank if you like. Um, I'm going to cut a little piece of um, another piece of this paper out. And I've cut already stamped and cut out a little template for that middle bit there. So I'm just going to cut that out on my designer series paper right here. And you can, as I said, you can leave that blank if you prefer. Uh, it's up to you. Let me get my cutting right. Didn't do a very good job with that one. Um, this stamp set, you could put uh, a sentiment in there. You could use the cute little heart from the stamp set if you would prefer. Whatever, whatever takes your fancy, really. It's going to go there like that. There we are. So I'll cut this out now. Now it's very easy to cut out. So if you're not a fussy cutter, I can reassure you that this one doesn't take any, uh, doesn't require any expert uh, cutting skills. That is for sure. Oops. Just fix that one up there. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm going to pop that little piece in the middle there with a small mini dimensional. You don't have to. You can put it on with a dozen different type of adhesive. I just want to have it uh, popped up um, from the, the stamped image. it is and that's going to go on to there I like those two colors together yeah, once again we'll use some more dimensionals put that on So these, that's, this is going to go here like that. That's it. That's all there is to it. I'm just going to flatten that down a little bit. Just once you've got something inside it, it will naturally go flat. You can, if you had something smaller, you could always put a hole in the top there for your ribbon. But the, my little sachet goes right to the top, so it fits perfect. Uh, and last but not least is our ribbon. So let's attach this one now. Um, the way I did this is I put my dimensionals down the side here, so it sort of sits that way. So we'll do that now. And one on here, one on here. There. Just sort of halfway down. And then a sentiment right there. You can um, just stamp that sentiment and have it straight, like a straight cut 
if you prefer rather than using a die I like the shape that's all I really do like that shape and last but not least is the bow now this ribbon is the um, early espresso uh, um, soft suede a faux suede trim and oh my gosh there it is there it is makes the most perfect little bows um, it really does and I just really really like using it because it, my bows seem to come out perfect each time and that doesn't normally happen for me but with this ribbon it does there it is Perfect little, uh, it's just really, really nice ribbon. It's a good a good um, width. I really, really do like it. And I'm going to put that on there with a glue dot. Yeah. Put my ribbon around the right way. It is on the side. And there you have it. Just trim off a little bit that one that's it pop my Starbucks in here there it goes done easy simple and very 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 easy to make and very very cute I hope you enjoyed the video today I have put the um, all the products that I've used today are in the description bar below so if you'd like to learn any more about the products just click on each of the links and thank you again for watching and have a great and crafty day bye